What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Jeremy Brigander, and welcome to an RNG video where I do it live. You guys saw that Snivy video, and uh, I don't know, you got I, I enjoyed it. And um, based on the people who watched it and the comment I got, something tells me that you know I should do more of this. So this layout is a little messed up until I get an actual layout when it comes to these kind of things. But you see, down here is my target. My target is Joltik, um, Shiny Joltik from Generation Five. Um, I might also do another one for Generation Seven, since Gen Seven has um, ball breeding. Uh, Gen Five does not. Um, you guys will see on this side is my DS, and then on the bottom, bottom, uh, bottom left is the RNG Finder and time finder and also at the bottom is the uh, eon timer which is it helps it helps with timing i mean if you're amazing with seconds you know you can do it yourself but um honestly it's what it is so i did all the boring stuff you know i i did the egg i made sure i put the parents um the father is the ditto the episode is timid and I'm picking this one since it's really close and 34 seconds I can hit really really consistently and also it doesn't take that long so with this I just put on the in on timer 34 seconds leave the calibration to mi minus 95 because that's how the DS works when it comes to gen 5 and let's look at the target frame I have to hit the target frame I have to hit with my chala pitches which I use two but you can use one if you want to if it really helps I mean I just use two chats because it's faster um so I need to hit one before the actual frame because when I go pick the egg either the those little <laughs> Pokemon called Pella and Mincino they really mess up your frame if you don't hit it right so if they move at least once at least they'll move here So, and also it takes a frame to talk to the person if I hit it correctly. So, if I look at the time, I have to look at this timer right here. <coughs> Sorry. We gotta go to March 5th. That's fine. March 5th, 2022. And then on the timer, I already have everything set up. Um, I caught a Joltik in the Charge Zone Cave, made sure it's 5 IV. As you see, it's actually um, the mother, since it's a female. So I knew it had five attack. So, cause I don't, I mean, I don't care about having zero because nobody, foul play is so rare nowadays, or like, I just don't care about foul play. Um, so I just have the l l least amount of IVs. Um, I mean, this one's gonna have 13, but like I said, I don't care. And Joel, um, Galvantula is frail anyways. So I got one. I got using Wild RNG. If you guys want to see that part, you know, let me know and I'll show the whole thing. But uh, I caught it and I have a 6 IV ditto that um, I RNG a long time. Like a, two months ago when I first started doing Gen 5 RNG. And then... I already put them in the daycare. I have the egg ready. So all I got to do is just this kind of thing. So I just got to find in the time finder. I got to find 11. 47. 47. But I don't press anything. I'm not going to press anything. I have to press it as soon as I also press this too. So I got to press the start button and at the same time. So 3, 2, 1, go. And uh, you're going to see... I have to go not that quick um see I put the option not to put any key presses because doing key presses is uh I'm not used to it yet I mean I know how to do it but I get frustrated um because I don't know if I should hold it before or at, during um, so I hold it the entire time and it hurts my fingers so I might as well have none um I might test that another time with uh button presses two three four five six you, you heard those beeps 
those beeps really helped me time it like on the dot. And I put six, I put six, six beeps. I put six beeps so I know like when exactly to hit it. Never turn on C gear. C gear is the worst thing when it comes to RNG. See those things, those things can move frames. So let's hope we hit our frame. Okay, it's promising, promising. Let's see. <gasps> okay. So I, I'm at that frame. And I gotta press it as soon as it quick. One, two, three. Because then if they move a leg, that ruins the RNG. It's so funny how these little, the one thing that makes this RNG less than perfect are those, um, the Mancino and the Pedalo running around. It's very cute to watch, but no. Um, I'm going to cut here or I'm going to pause the video until I hatch the egg and we'll come back when, uh, and we'll see where we were left off. All right, so let's see if we hit it. Just in case, I like to take a picture of it. See where it says. We did not. That's a regular joltic. So, no worry. That's what happens. Let's see the nature. Huh. Okay, then. Okay. So. We know exactly that we hit this one. So we got it right. But the problem is. It's the frame before. So. When that happens. And I'm glad I'm showing this because. You know, I bet some people get confused um, based on this time finder. So I'm just going to reset. Make sure my time finder is correct. Make sure I never saved. But I know I hit it. That's, it's 305. And like, you could do this on your computer using emulator, but... I'm not gonna do that because you could just change your computer settings but that's just, that's just gonna know your, any other thing that I've had so open up the ti Aeon timer I'm gonna do it again one two three go and we know we hit it because we got the modest one so we, we just gotta do one frame before so we gotta hit this and we know we, we know we hit it. So we gotta hit this, because we hit this. We hit this modest one. Even though it's a lie. That shiny is a lie. And you always gotta make sure you hit the you hit your A press like immediately. Don't hold any button, but don't even spam the A button. So let's focus on this. Make sure you say no to the C gear because that advances frames up the ass and nobody wants that. I think I hit two. We'll see. Okay, we ha we hit a high frame. That's what we hit last time too. Okay. We hit it. So we gotta hit it. Th we gotta leave this one. And we'll see if we hit it. So I'm gonna, again, pause the video until we hatch the egg. So I'll be right back. All right. Now, with all the fixes that we had and my camera being out of focus, 
Let's see, I'd like to take your picture, so we gotta make sure. Survey's in. Oh, that's a shiny. That's definitely shiny. That's definitely shiny. Hold on. And it's on the actual footage, so I gotta... Yeah, we got the shiny, boys. Let's go. Look at that. I don't even know what to name him. I don't even know. I... <laughs> so with that, sometimes I like to look for nicknames. So this person did not nickname his Pokemon. So best Galvantula nicknames. We always like. I always look at some. Uh, Ooh, I like Denki. Denki sounds funny. So we'll, we'll name him Denki. We're gonna let Denki. Let's go. And to prove it to Shiny, because you know it could look different. Here you see this shiny sign like that, and it's a Tibbet. So there you have it, folks. I have successfully breeded a five iv shiny joltik um in generation five um if you want to see me live stream some of these so i can do some um let me know in the comments and um you know it's it's it always feels rewarding when you have a shiny like this um i'm definitely gonna treasure this i might keep it in gen five because you know it's not I like to bring up things that are in the right pokeball and if it's in the regular pokeball it's not really my type but I do have the female parent so I'm able to use that if um and I'm gonna transfer it up and also I found out that you see this disabled voice crack so if we go to gen 7 right something I could do with a joltic which I'm gonna try to do so disable it's an egg move cool right but when you actually go to gen 8 disable was actually removed so I'm definitely gonna be working my hardest to get a Venomoth because that's how it gets disabled and I'm definitely gonna bring one from gen 7 I should have a 5 IV Venomoth and if not I'll just get down my own but as you see the stable is only learned by Venomoth and these two can by Egg Booth but I'm not gonna chain breed this to pass this I can just do these two breed with these because I have a female of this which is 5 IV so that's what I'm definitely gonna do hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video leave a like and leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any Pokemon you want me to do for next time uh, you already saw the shiny Sneevil, Snee Snivy, I'm sorry, shiny Snivy, so now I have a shiny Joltik that I'm going to make into a Galvantula, and I'm going to keep it in this game, so hope you guys enjoy your day, and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye bye.